Hi, this is Mike Brightman with Brightman Designs. We offer design, visualization, and training services. And just about everything that we do revolves around SketchUp and Lumion. So today we're going to talk about Lumion 5.7 and the new feature in there called My Lumion. These are basically virtual tours. And so what we're going to do today is take a lap through how we used to create virtual tours, some of the limitations and clunkiness and problems that we would run into when creating those and delivering virtual tours, and then take a look at how Lumion has really completely solved this entire issue and made it almost a one-click process to produce a really, really slick, seamless, uh, kind of a 3D experience online. So first off, um, well, we'll take a look at, here's the MyLumion page. You can access more information about MyLumion at mylumion.com. And so let's take just a moment to discuss the problem. So the problem is that we need to deliver some kind of a 3D experience to the clients. So like here's a, a SketchUp model. Now, if I were to send this model to a client, this is a rather heavy model. It, they would have to not only download my file, but then they would have to go and download SketchUp, run the executable, install it, open this file, and at least have the wherewithal to use the navigation tools to get around. And so that whole experience, that's something that's kind of not a, not something I really like to hand over to a client. I want to really uh, pare it down and tailor it so that I know what they're going to experience and they're going to have success with that. So that's why we provide animations, still renderings. Those are easy things to access. And these virtual tours are really, really slick for, you know, tailoring down and, and delivering a seamless 3D experience. But the problem with virtual tours in the past and creating those in SketchUp is that you need a several different pieces of software. You really got to have like a, a system down. And then furthermore, you really got to know how to build like a, a flash presentation to deliver them online, at least in a way that's engaging. So let's take a look at what we used to do. And then I'm going to show you how Lumion has completely solved this problem and made it just about a one-click process. So to talk about how we used to do this, this model, you know, if I navigate around, you can see we've got a pretty cool SketchUp model built here, uh, inside and out. And we've got all of our still views set up, but then I also have these virtual tour scenes. So if I go to a virtual tour scene and maybe just click on my eyeball here to look around, this is essentially what my virtual tour will feel like. I'm going to be positioned in that one spot and we need to render out a front, back, left, right, and top and bottom view. Let's do that. In order to do that, we need to use our plugin called Cubic Pano Out. So we click on that camera drop down, go to Cubic Pano Out, and I can tell you that that, that plugin is available at smuster.com. And if you just type in uh, Cubic, I'm sure you'll find it there. So Cubic Pano Out, this is a free plugin. And what it does is when I go to camera and choose Cubic Pano Out, I can set my resolution maybe um, uh, we'll say 1200 wide, whatever. Uh, create cube pages, top image correction is on, we'll say okay. And then let's save this into, I'm gonna go to my Dropbox and we'll go to Brightman Designs, uh, Presentations, and our online help session. Okay, and then in our online help session, let me clear out these files. Uh, we just kinda wanna have a clean slate here, so Presentations, online help session, virtual tour, and we'll just trash these and re-render them. Okay, so I'm gonna call this uh, image whatever, that's fine, we'll click save. And what's happening, it's writing image one of six down here in the bottom left, you can see. It's taking a, a snapshot of front, back, left, right, top, bottom. And we'll go look at these images here in just a moment as they're coming out. So like here's the first image, and if I go to the next one, you know, you can see the right, the back, the left. Let's see, we get the top one yet. Uh, they're still rendering out. Here's our top view and our bottom view. So there's all of our images all rendered out. And if you imagine, if you took, if you built a 3D cube and you put each one of these images on that cube and position yourself right in the middle of the cube, you would then kind of get the sensation that you're in a 3D space if you were to kind of spin that cube around you. Well, if you add a few little uh, bells and whistles, like distorting the edges and um, maybe providing a zoom, you can give kind of a quasi 3D experience. So that's what a virtual tour is all about. But, you know, we've got these images and now what we need to do is we need to compile those images and create the virtual tour. So let me go back to our helpline here. And so go cubic. This is a little program. There's a, a handful of these types of programs out there. Some of them are free. Some of them you can pay for. And all you do is just choose make pano, make pano movie. 
and then I'll select this image 000 and choose open. And we're going to save this as default.mov. We'll save that. Opens my images, compiles them just like that. And now watch what happens when I click and drag. I've created a, a QuickTime MOV file. This MOV file, you know, it, it has to have QuickTime in order to run, but you can very easily embed this in a web page. So that's a good first start, but that was quite a few steps in order to get to this place. And so what we used to do to deliver these online was we would go, let's see, our flash. Um, we've got our uh, greenness executable. And so let's check this out. So we have our plans. And so what I used to do is create these little hotspots. And so, you know, this is quite a bit of work. So, you know, it's not only creating the virtual tour, but it's delivering the virtual tour. So, I mean, you can email them. That's fine, I guess. But like something more engaging is, is definitely preferable. Now, the other thing that's a limitation here in SketchUp is that we're rendering it as a SketchUp look. And so it is possible to set up your uh, go cubic or, or your... Um, cubic panel out to create scenes, render those in a plugin like Twilight Render or Podium or V-Ray for SketchUp, and then compile these photorealistic views. But I can tell you that that process is going to take literally six times as long as what, we, what we're doing here. So that's cool. it's pretty involved. And so really what's, what's the advantage of this new feature in Lumion 5.7, My Lumion, is that it's, it's really just like not only is it beautiful, because that's what Lumion does well, but it's very easy. The interface is well designed. You just kind of navigate around, push a button to drop your, your pin or position your camera, and you push one button, everything gets rendered, everything gets uploaded, and then you get an email that says, here's your, your presentation. You click on that button, and then uh, you've got this really engaging 3D experience. So we'll say almost 3D. Maybe it's 2.5D. I'm not sure. But it feels like you're navigating the model, and it's a very controlled experience. So your clients will, you know, will really uh, succeed with that and not be hung up and calling you about, how do I install this program? How do I open this file? Um, it's just very, very seamless. So let's take a look at that. Let's hop over into uh, Lumion now. And so here is that SketchUp model in Lumion. So uh, admittedly, we did spend a little bit of time working on this. I mean, we, we did some texturing. I built everything in SketchUp. So everything you're seeing, uh, minus really the trees, was built in SketchUp. And then we imported it and we texture our glass, our grass, our water. Um, so those are the things that we drop in. Um, those are the, the materials that really shine in Lumion. And then furthermore, the trees are something that's really spectacular in Lumion. Uh, well, as well as the ocean. I guess there's a lot of things that are spectacular. So we've got our model all rendered up. And typically what we would do uh, before version 5.7 is we'd go into our photo mode and we'd say like, all right, we've got some photos we want to render. That looks cool. That looks cool. So, you know, you go around, you, you hit render and create all these, these photos. Then we would develop an animation based on this, this model. And so we can uh, add in our animation, uh, roll through that and we'd render that stuff out and we would deliver that to the client. Now we've got another way of delivering 3d. My Lumion. So there's a few limitations to My Lumion, and uh, that's only because it's in beta, and I'm sure we're only going to see more and more impressive stuff here. But we'll say OK. And now this is the My Lumion presentation. It's already kind of set up here. You can see we've got like our master bedroom, our property aerial. If I were to trash that, uh, you can see to add a scene, I just kind of scoot up above the house. I'm just using my, my navigation tools. And uh, we'll just kind of lift up like that. And then I'll click uh, on this scene and set my viewpoint. Click once. I'm going to call this our property aerial. Just like that. And now there's our property aerial. So these are the different points that we're setting up in our scene. It's very easy to adjust those. You can always click refresh. To adjust that scene so we've got kitchen dining we've got our living room you've got your back porch uh, maybe I'll scoot that out just a little bit and refresh basement patio 
So you just create this experience, and you know the order of which you're you're arranging these is really not important because the user is going to be given this choose your own adventure type uh, experience where they're going to be able to click on these eyeballs and, and jump to different points in their model. So uh, we've got all of our scenes set up, and I guess one thing I would say is you want to kind of get maybe towards the middle of the room is a better spot. Looking good. All right, so now all we have to do is once you set all this up, I click on render and upload. When I click on that, I enter my email address, which is mike at brightmandesigns.com. This is called greenness, and I don't think we need to have a description. So I'll click on start rendering to my Lumion. When I click on that, check out what's happening. We see our top view. Then we'll see our left, right, front, back, and bottom of each one of those pins or each one of those viewpoints that we set in the MyLumion um, mode of the, mod of the presentation. So you can see there it's rendering the next one. And so what it's going to do, it's going to render all of those out. It's going to send them out to Lumion servers. It's going to package them up and put them into a nice, clean little viewer and email it to me. So we don't need to wait around for that. I've already got one that uh, we, we rendered. And so let's hop over here and go to mylumion.com um, greenness. So this is, uh, it gives you kind of a uh, unique uh, web address to go access the viewer. And check it out. You can go full screen, uh, no problem. You click and drag and look around. You can advance to each one of these uh, different view, viewpoints. And each one allows you to look around and, and experience that model in a different way. Now, this is really cool. Check this out. If I click on this little eyeball here, now I've got all these uh, points that I can go and access. So this is where it really starts to feel like you're navigating a 3D model. I want to go stand over here. Look around, and I want to go stand here in the basement. So it's just really gives you this kind of seamless 3D experience. We're eliminating the need to install any software, eliminating the need to download files, open them, understand any new program. The beautiful thing about this is it works seamlessly on phones, tablets, desktops, laptops, browsers, doesn't matter. You will get a just a perfect 3D experience on any one of your devices. So just think about how you can use this. I mean, it's really... It's you know, like we can all agree that it's cool, I think. But you know, how do you uh, how do you affect your bottom line? How do you become more productive using this? So I think it's really you know what we were trying to do uh, eight or nine years ago when we were creating those virtual tours, the way that I showed you in SketchUp, is we're just trying to communicate better. We're trying to get better information out there to our clients, helping builders explain what is going to happen. We're eliminating disappointment. Uh, we're we're communicating designs better. I mean, if I go into my um, if I go into my living room here, uh, let's see, here's our living room, and I explain this ceiling. And and the ability to understand this ceiling um, with you know this elevation and just everything that's happening in 3D, it's hard to gain that from an RCP and in interior elevations. And so it's just another tool in, the, in your toolbox of 3D. It's a, just a very simple, easy way to deliver a project to a client and, and explain things better. So uh, let's hop back out of here. Let's tap escape. Uh, that is my Lumion. Really cool new feature. We're really psyched. Uh, we've got a handful of builders that we're working with right now that we are going to be using this and testing out and see what they think about it because, honestly, it's so easy. We're already doing the, the renderings and the animations. This is one more thing where we just set up a few views click go and we've got another product to offer so we're pretty excited about that uh just to recap um you can always purchase lumion at lumion3d.com check that out uh you can go click on buy uh if you want to learn more as mentioned you can go to mylumion.com um, that was available here on mylumion3 or i'm sorry lumion3d.com you click on mylumion you can get to that same same place click on buy and grab yourself a license of lumion pro good stuff all right, so as mentioned, my name is Mike Brightman with Brightman Designs. Uh, be sure to check back for more of these online help sessions and some really cool new tutorials and tips and tricks. We've got all kinds of good stuff out there, and i uh, love to share that with you and love to hear what you think about it. So we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.